Hey, hello Julius. Hi Fiona. Okay, first of all, uh, good morning and good morning. thank you so much for... Ooh, oh, okay. oh, sorry. Yeah, so I can, I can see you're very excited to start you know, eating the pastries and stuff. They, they look very delicious. <laughs> yeah, so. but that will have to wait because okay, uh, yeah. first of all, I want to thank you uh, mm. for joining me uh, here on this Coffee with Bushiro series. Yeah, so as I think you understand, this series is just to highlight um, some of the insights into what Bushiro staff actually do you know, to bring uh, the game to uh, the players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you do events and uh, I'm sure a lot of our audience uh, and our players have seen you around events as well uh, you know like uh, not just in Singapore but in uh, maybe Cardiff, France mm. or wherever you have been to because you go around the world to organize events and plan tournaments for everyone yeah. so thank you so much for that and uh, you have been with us since uh, August last year yeah. so I think you are with one us year about, plus, yeah. about one year now yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah so thank you for joining us Yep. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, I have prepared some snacks and coffee and tea uh, for us. So uh, would you like coffee or would you like some tea? Uh, some tea, please. Okay, tea. Well, uh, good news. I have a few different blends. This, oh, is, this? this is English breakfast. Yeah. And then... Too strong. Uh, too strong. <laughs> yeah, I like English breakfast. I like strong blends. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is some kind of uh, fruits uh, infusion. Yes, yeah. yes, this, this. Yeah, and you can see, oh, you, you know, you can even listen to the. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> this is the one. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the one. Yeah, this yeah. yeah is you the can one. even see like some uh, real berries and, and. Yeah, it's really, it's a very nice, sweet smell. Yeah, 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 it's very fruity. Oh, so, so, this is what you want? Yes. Okay, yes, cool. Yes, All right. But just for the record, the other one is Earl Grey. Oh, you know, uh, like no, it's it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, stick, I'll stick to my choice. All right. Okay, I'm gonna prepare the tea. What made you, you know, interested in, in, in joining Bruce Show as like an event mm. planner? Oh, wow. Uh, I guess, first of all, I, I like attending events. Mm -hmm. And I guess I also played like Bush Road games before I joined Bush Road. Oh. Yeah, so oh. I, I started with Vanguard. And okay. I think I've been playing for about three, three years now. Yeah, three years. So, I mean, that's how I knew about Bush Road. And then uh, I just thought like, oh, I, I, I just graduated. Uh, I'm looking for a job, but you know, I don't really want to kind of find a, a, a normal nine to five job. Uh -huh. I kind of just want to try something new. I mean, cause I'm still young, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm still young. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all young here, we're all young. Yeah. yeah, so I thought like, oh, maybe let me try events, you know? It's something that requires like, a lot of like, patience mm -hmm. and then you need to like be on the ball most of the time because you, you have to like solve all the problems as they come, you know. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's why I, I was like up for a challenge and I decided to just just try it. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> so okay. So so let's So some snacks let's. for you. Uh, sure. you can help yourself. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. I think this one is a uh, yam. There's a this okay. yam feeling inside. Ooh. Yeah, and these are scones with some nuts. Yeah, and then this is the red bean mm. uh, pastry. Oh, what about this? One? This one, uh, this one is so similar to a scone, like, like it has nuts, nuts inside. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'll go for the red bean. Okay, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> I wanted that. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> okay, so when you're planning events, like, especially in Singapore, do you see like your friends around? So like, do they, because yeah. I mean, I'm sure you have some Vanguard friends. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, so you still see them doing the events as well? Yeah, I, I see them at the events and, then, and it's actually very interesting because you know like, or how the tables have turned. Like <laughs> I used to be an event goer, and then now I, I'm the one organizing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it is quite interesting to see both sides mm -hmm. of like the event, like the back end and mm -hmm. as an attendee. Mm -hmm. And what makes me like feel satisfied right, is when the players kind of enjoy the event, and then. Yeah, especially my friends, but like, I also want my friends to, to enjoy the yeah. event, so, yeah. Okay. Just, just nice. Has there been anything interesting that happened uh, between you and, uh, now that you're planning Bush Road mm. events and any of your friends that attended the event, like, or do they, do they ask you like, hey, give me some, you know, <laughs> tips or, you know, uh, that kind of stuff or like, mm. close one eye or anything like that? Oh, uh, I mean, they, they do sometimes, but it's all more of like a joke. Uh, so, can I have an extra play, man? Uh, that's like, no, no, no. <laughs> then win, yeah, yeah. You win. <laughs> win yourself yeah. win yourself a play, man. That kind of thing. Yeah, if you want to uh, have the top four play, man, uh, be in the top yeah, four. Yeah, be in the top four. You want an extra uh, 
PR item, participation item, go travel somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, they 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 do ask, but I mean, they also know that it's still my job, mm-hmm. so I have to be a professional uh, and not like. You know, mm-hmm. give them stuff. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be any bias. Uh, yeah, bias. and I'm sure, like you say, they're just joking and teasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So, have you been in- interested in planning for in- an event before the job? Because you mentioned like mm. you attended a lot of bushro uh, tournaments and mm-hmm. uh, events. So, at a point of time, do you actually think, oh, actually, you know, it might be good for me to plan an event? Did that occur to you? I think more like uh, I've attended. Events, other events, not even just push mm-hmm. events, and I just felt like, oh, there are some things that maybe I had some ideas, maybe this event could have had uh, maybe some special side event or something like that. So I guess when I actually joined a company, push did give me the chance to kind of uh, develop these kind of new ideas, and that's when I had space for growth and I get to kind of implement some of the new things. In mm. the circuit, so we are kind of trying to change some stuff, and hopefully the players enjoy. Mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good because if if say Bushiro doesn't give you this, the, the the space and autonomy to actually uh, do some new things and mm-hmm. improve, you probably wouldn't enjoy the job as much because mm. it will be very rigid. Yeah. Yeah, but but not in Bushiro. Yeah. So that's correct. why I really like. Yeah, events. and because of that, I, th- I can see our events changing. I think mm-hmm. uh, our numbers for players joining the tournaments have increased yes. <laughs> as well. So I- I'm actually very happy for that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just mainly thanks to all the players. Actually. Okay. Really, yeah. yeah. So what would you say is the most um, challenging thing when you're planning uh, for an event? Um, most challenging, I think, is on the event day itself. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's definitely the most... <laughs> It's the main event, but uh, because you can prepare well ahead of time, you know, you can do all sorts of things, you can imagine all the situations that might happen, and you can have plan A, plan B, plan C, all the way, but sometimes things happen and it's very unexpected, so we just have to keep, you know, like, be very on the ball and uh, fix any problems. As they come. Okay, yeah. Cause uh, no matter how much planning you do, there's you know, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you can foresee. Yeah, yeah. There, there will never be a, a perfect event. <laughs> yeah. Like you want everything to be done at this time. Everything done yeah, at this no, yeah, no, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So can you tell us like um what probably one memorable challenge that you had to overcome during any of your events? Oh. Yeah. If uh, if there is any that particularly sticks in your mind. I think it's World Finals, uh, I think this year. January. In Japan. Yeah, in yeah. Japan. So it was actually my first time mm. uh, being, you know, like, I mean, like, kind of participating as a organizer mm. in such a big scale event. Like World Finals, you know, it's yeah. like the biggest yeah. event. And then it, I felt a lot of pressure. Mm. And I guess uh, I just felt very alone. And when things really weren't going very well, I, 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 it, was, it was so hard to, to continue. And my colleagues were actually there to tell me like, hey, you know, everything's going to be fine. You're just going to uh, just don't give up. Continue doing what you're doing. Things will be better. So that's kind of heartwarming to me because I realized that I'm not in this alone. I have my team. I have you. Mm. <laughs> you. And that's how uh, I guess I managed to overcome those challenges like I know we could have done better and that's why I really hope that this year's uh, World Finals will be better so mm. cheers to a mm-hmm. good World Finals yeah. 2019 <laughs> yeah. yeah so and you are going to uh, uh, this coming January's uh, World Final uh, yes yeah so uh, I guess I'll see you I'll see there. you there <laughs> see you there yeah. I'll see all the players there so. yeah okay so um, so I from what I can understand about that is, you know, planning for an event is not, it's not just a very physical draining job. It's mm. very emotionally draining as well, like what you mentioned. Mm. And uh, what's, curi- uh, what's interesting is that you mentioned you felt very alone. Could mm. you elaborate more on that? Like, why, why, why do you feel alone when you're doing that event? Mm, I think because I, I didn't, before this, I find it hard to trust people. I think it's more of a personal thing. So, uh, you know, like, sometimes 
you feel that if you do it alone, you know, things won't go as wrong. Because with more people, there are more things that can go wrong. So that was kind of like a, a barrier, I guess, for me. So it was very hard to let people know, like, hey, I'm, I'm struggling with this, can you help me? Mm. So I've actually throughout that, I learned to ask people for help. And I guess that made me grow as a person. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. so deep. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a, that's a great story. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, because it, 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 one wouldn't expect, you know, people to, I guess, like maybe most people, especially if they haven't entered the workforce, yeah. they might see work as just work and mm-hmm. they kind of like separate work from life. But mm-hmm. I guess work actually is, is part of your life. And oh, then if you yeah. grow in work, you grow professionally, it helps with personal growth as well. Yeah, so I'm very happily, happy that you overcame all yeah. those different obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, just thanks to the people in Bushro. They are really very nice. They're very kind. But not this not like, you know, like <laughs> saying, you know, complimenting everybody. It's just that yeah, they, they they've made me feel very comfortable. Yeah. That's why I enjoy like going to work. Yeah. Everything. And I think this aspect of um this aspect of uh, understand building trust with your colleagues and oh. your friends, uh I think it comes especially strong in in your current role with events planning because there's no way you can run an event by yourself so mm. I guess you kind of have to uh, learn how to uh, build bonds with uh, Everyone, all your teammates yeah. yeah actually it's not just uh, just my teammates like there's a lot of communication between internal and external parties so we actually have to liaise with um, like the different officers we have to liaise with uh, the de- development team the design team, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we have to work with the marketing team, we mm. have to work with like even mobile as well. Mm-hmm. And then it's more of like we have to communicate to each different teams and that, that takes, you know, like it's not something that you can run away from. Yeah. Yeah. And also like uh, we have to outsource like PR items, mm-hmm. like for example, um, like storage boxes or something uh-huh. like that. Yeah. Yeah, we need to uh, liaise with other suppliers, so it's a lot of communication. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So it's not just planning, you kind of have to communicate with a lot of different vendors yeah. and parties as well. Yeah, so I guess, you know, because I, I, I get from the designation of events planner, people mm-hmm. would think you're just planning events all day long, but mm-hmm. that's probably not true because you have to, like what you said, you have to do a lot of other uh, stuff as well, such as planning, you know, the PR items, mm-hmm. contacting vendors. And stuff. Could you tell us a bit more about like, kind of like, your day-to-day routine when you're not actually mm-hmm. planning for an actual event? Like what, what, do you, what do you have to do? Probably email, a lot of emails. Yes, yes, a lot of emails, <laughs> a, lot of emails. a lot of emails. And uh, actually we plan like each circuit more than half a, half a year before. Yeah, yeah. wow. So uh, during that time, we actually first have to start like, you know, making the logo. Uh, we have to decide the format, like is it team league or is it a single kind of format. And then we also need to uh, source for new shioko. I think we will ask, <laughs> we, we will ask Nishi Sensei to, to mm. design a new shioko mm. for each circuit. For so. each circuit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so so. I, I guess if players notice, they, they will notice, notice that each shioko for each circuit is different. Is different. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's not really different. She's just wearing different, different clothes. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, of course, I mean, if her face is different, then yeah. it's not shioko. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think all the shioko fans out there will notice. Mm-hmm. So. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> All the hard work is, is, is noticed. Wow. Yeah. No okay. like. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I guess, after that, we need to liaise us with the development team. We need to start preparing like the PR cards that we want to you know, use for the circuit, like participation. We have the short challenge as well, mm-hmm. uh, regional champion, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I also will start uh, thinking of new PR items that we want to produce like uh, play mats, um, we can have storage boxes, we can have dice, live, now the new buddy fight life counter. Life counter yeah. And you know, that, was, that was something that I really wanted. So I, I'm very glad to see you know, like from my idea, it became like an actual thing. Yeah, yeah. From, from, from how you, you know, uh, it came from your idea and then it materialized. Yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, 
I don't know. I feel, I feel, I feel like you know a little proud moment okay. <laughs> when, when it actually came out and I'm I saw it. Yeah. Remind me again. Uh, has that live counter been given out yet? Ah uh, yeah. So how do you feel when you see you know players uh, taking that, using it in their games and tournaments? It, it feels very. I, I don't know how to. <laughs> I really don't know how to express my thoughts. Let me try. Maybe it's like a ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. It, it's very nice because like if they like it, it means that you know I did a good job. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I hope they use it. More well, I guess a lot of our colleagues like it as well. They're like they're passing yeah, over. Like, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I like it also. Yeah, I I'm one. sure you will. I have one on my table. <laughs> but I don't have one. Why oh yeah, I'll one? give you. I'll give you one later. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so just now you mentioned uh, you actually meet some of your friends uh, mm. in events, mm. but I, know I went with you on uh, a BSF 2019 uh, just earlier this year at Cardiff, oh, yeah, UK, yeah, Cardiff. and I, I noticed it's not just local players. I mean, over there you have, I, I think it was someone from France, if I'm not wrong. I think a group of people from France, they were coming up to you at the counter and just <laughs> like, thank you for the tournament or something. Mm, yeah. yeah, actually, I think. There were a few uh, like people from France, people from Italy as well. Italy. Okay. Yeah, I think because I met them at World Finals, they actually remembered me, and I do I do remember them yeah. also because before that I was actually in charge of like their flights and everything. Oh. Yeah. So so I I, I personally talked to them and then they they remember me and they're like hey, uh, saw you at World Finals. Uh, thank you for organizing this uh, you know BSF. They really like it. Like, mm. yeah. It's very nice because yeah. most people will kind of like complain about the event, <laughs> right? But it's nice to see that some people still enjoy about it, enjoy the event, and that that makes me uh, more motivated to you know organize better events for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess yeah. Once in a while, you get the the kind of uh, player who comes up to you and just really sincerely thank you for mm -hmm. organizing the event, yeah. and then amidst the chaos in the event, like you described earlier, that can be like uh, a very a warm fire in the yeah, middle of a yeah, winter. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's yes. like oh, thank you yeah, so like, much. All, all hope is lost. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I yeah yeah I was quite surprised. Oh wow, yeah, they're, they're really nice people over there, and they just come up to you and, and thank you. Yeah, they're really nice. Actually. You know, UK was my first time in, I mean, in Europe in general. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's a very interesting uh, perspective because it's very different from Singapore. Definitely. Yeah. It's also very cold. I remember you, <laughs> you wearing like a few layers yeah. when we were walking outside. Yeah. Yeah. It was very, very cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess since you have so many, uh, so much experience about you know, uh, attending, uh, about the events here in, uh, locally oh. in Singapore, as well as uh, tournaments around the world. What would you say is like the cultural difference among the tournaments over there and over here? I think different countries, you know, they kind of have a different perspective towards tournaments. Like for Singapore, it's more of like, I want to compete. I think they're more competitive. Mm -hmm. And some uh, like countries outside, you know, uh, of Singapore, they are more, um, they, they like, uh, events because it brings people together. Mm -hmm. So some people, uh, there's, they like BSF, you know, like Team League. Mm. And then some people, they like BCS, which is more competitive. So that's why we actually have two different circuits. So we can cater to both different players. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I personally like Team League because uh, for me, it's more about the friends. But then again, BCS, you get a free trip to World Final. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah. I think it is also a very good uh, incentive to join. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it's exactly uh, like what you say. BSF caters to people who wanna play, enjoy the game with friends. They, they join. Uh, I think some of them even travel. Mm -hmm, uh, yeah. I think some they they were from Italy and then they travel all the way to UK, uh, uh, yeah, Cardiff, yeah, Cardiff. You know, with their friends and then yeah. just join and then they have fun whether they win or they lose. Yeah, and at the same time, on the other hand, uh, BCS, like what you said, uh, mm. caters to the competitive group. So uh, they they're really passionate about the game and then they they want to prove that oh this deck, you know, maybe it's not the meta deck. They build this deck and mm -hmm. they really want to prove themselves. Yeah, Fiona, yes. what advice would you give to people who? who might be thinking of uh, you know, becoming an event planner like yourself? Um, I guess being an event planner requires a lot of, uh, like I said, you know, like they, they need to be up for a challenge. Mm. Yeah. So because it's always unexpected, you, you really need to 
learn how to kind of be calm in, in the chaotic situation and then really think what's the best solution that you can come up with mm. at that point of time. So if you're up for a challenge, this is the <laughs> job for you, you know? Um, they, I guess the person has to just try their best. Yeah. I think just trying your best at ev- anything and everything, mm-hmm. that, that's already a one step further. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then not just you know just giving up stuff like that mm-hmm. because personally I actually graduated from a science major oh so you know it's, it's very weird like oh yeah science student but I'm doing event planning now yeah. so people be like hmm. yeah. I, at first I thought like I wasn't cut out for it as well so uh, I just thought you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna care I'm just gonna try and if I fail you know maybe I'm just really not cut out for it and so I just decided to try. And the passion for gaming kind of like spurred me on to, to give it a shot. And Bushu actually came back to me, so I was like quite happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, so that's, that's, that's why I joined. So mm. I think for people who want to join uh, Bushu or any company as an event organizer, they just have to, you know, don't, don't think that you cannot do it. As long as you try, you give it your best shot. If you really cannot do it, then you know there's always other doors open for you. But if you don't try, you won't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so for them, you know, so in a nutshell, yeah. uh, stay calm, stay calm, and plan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. So Fiona, I actually do have uh, one final question for you, mm-hmm. and that is, uh, do do you have anything that you might want to say, you know, to uh, players? who have attended our, our tournaments mm. in the past or who might be thinking of attending a tournament? Oh, uh, I guess support us. Join, mm-hmm. participate. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you know, before, like, like I said, you know, I was an event goer. I participated in Bush Road events before and I thought that, you know, it's very nice, you know, BSF, you get form teams, you get a, um, like, brainstorm, you know, different mm-hmm. ideas, deck ideas, and then you kind of compete together. So sometimes you actually, you know, play tests before the event, and it's like boot camp, you know. And that's when they forge a stronger bond, you know, and it's not really about the competition itself. It's more about the friendship, like, hey, if I won, you know, we won this together, or, you know, my teammate carried me. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding, but... Uh, yeah, it's, I, that's why I really like BSF. Or maybe because I'm not competitive. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> it caters to different players. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Actually, you raised a very good point in uh, saying how to get together with friends and then it's like a boot camp. Because I remember uh, interviewing uh, champions at War Finals, mm-hmm. I think it was uh, last year's one. And then uh, all the top three, they said almost the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, it, when I ask them who they do want to thank, it's always like their friends who help them test the decks, oh. gave them advice, or maybe even they had to borrow cards from them because yeah. they don't have the cards. So what I saw from that is that I, I think they're connecting you know, through our games. Yes, yes. And I, I see something that's, 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 that's very heartwarming and very beautiful. Because mm. I think, especially right now in our uh, society, I think we're just so disconnected with each other because you know we are always playing mobile phone, phones. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, because I I use my phone number uh, a, a bit as well, mm. and I play games on it as well. But I think once in a while, you know, come out coming out, mm. uh, connecting with friends over a couple of games, you know, having some tea. I think I think that's really nice, mm. and I think that really provided them with the opportunity to do that. Yeah, I think actually it's not just you know like meeting up with old friends or mm-hmm. connecting there's also a chance for you to meet new friends. For example, you know, I have two people, I need mm. another team member. You can actually gain friends through games and I think that's what, that's why I really like gaming. It kind of brings people together from different countries and it's just, it just breaks off all the geographical boundaries. Yeah. Well, that, that's well. a very poetic point. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. Oh yeah, but anyway, for those who, you know, are scared of you know joining our tournaments i don't think you should be scared we're all you know like nice people (laughs) at least i hope that we are nice people and and just you know just come and say hi Mm -hmm. we will we will be there right yeah so you can just say hi to any one of us you can make new friends just enjoy the game you know yeah Mm, so participate and for those who have like 
kind of supported us through our events. Uh, I really thank them for you know, supporting us and continuing to support us through all our events, like participating and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It really makes me feel like there's a purpose. You know, my job has a purpose. Mm. Oh, yeah. If you want to bring it even further, my life as well. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, no, just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you said something about uh, making friends through events. I just want to add on to the point. You know, just before we end up uh, end the entire thing is, because um, when I attended, uh, I think BCS Singapore, I think mm. last year. Uh, I think some people they came alone or they came with two friends uh, or just one friend because they don't have enough and then they look for a new teammate mm -hmm. at the event itself yeah, yeah. like what you say I think that's a great way to, to, to meet someone new I mean if you can't uh, get a team then, then fine you can just go for the side events and stuff but if you happen to find someone who, who's looking for a group as well mm -hmm. you know, then, then, then you have you, you have one good friend and you yeah. never know what sparks off from there yeah, it may become a very good strong friendship in the end exactly and it's true card game yeah. Who knew, right? Yeah, and I, I think that's that's nice and beautiful. Yeah, that's I think that's that's the essence of gaming. Gaming, okay. yeah, yeah, competitive at the same time. You know, there's a way for you to make friends. Yeah, it's like a, a frenemy, like yeah, yeah your I rival so. <laughs> at the same time. You're as friends. I think I think that's only because like you know, as a card game, we require two people to kind of interact with exactly. each other. It's not like a you know some kind of single player game. Yeah, it's not solitaire. It's, it's it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so I think uh, it's a great interview. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you thank for you so having much. me here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's have more tea. Yes. 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 More coffee. Tea, more tea. Coffee at Bushiro, and so far none has picked coffee. 